the incredible benefits of cucumbers, how to use them, get them in, even if you don't like them, get the benefits of this modern day superfood. Cukes of what they do. But watch this, they just do so many, we happen to have some sitting here. Give them a Happen to. Look at this. Oh, that's just disgusting. Give me a minute. <laughs> Oh, so fresh and so clean. <laughs> they do freshen your breath. If you're like, oh my gosh, I have to go into a meeting or like you're at lunch and you're like, you know, I, I can't have like the, with my date afterward. In case blah, blah. you forgot your mint, but you brought your cucumber. <laughs> I'm saying like, if you're like eating and you're like, why don't you go for the salad and maybe just shove a few cucumbers aside and have them at the end. Halitosis. Bad breath. There are phytochemicals in this thing that will literally cancel that out. Yes, so there are. Thank it's also, goodness. maybe you get like really tired in the mm -hmm. afternoon, or maybe you're hungover in the morning. You should have cucumbers for breakfast, or in the afternoon, if you need a pick me up full of B vitamins. Should I keep going? Or if my eyes are puffy, throw them on the old eyes. Or if your shoes are dirty. I haven't actually tried this yet. We're going to try this on the show. So I brought out the old wing tips or whatever. No, there's not wing tips because they don't have the wing thing. You don't on. have They're, a clue. These are my nice shoes. I don't know. My you dress. wear them maybe once every two years? When I got to wear my nice stuff? Once every two years. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's kind of crazy. And you're not gonna okay. eat it afterward, right? Do you I need like a paper I mean, towel? Do you need yeah, a towel? Yeah. Towel or paper towel? Just a towel. Okay. Okay, let's shine them. Let's see what happens. Wouldn't that be funny if it like ruined them? That wouldn't be funny at all. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, it's shinier, look, shiny. If it was bleh. black, especially because all I have is brown, but. Shiny, bruh, beeper. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Shine them, shine them up. They it say, really we haven't tried this one either, but they say, <laughs> You can also take like crayon or pencil or stuff off your wall too with it. Or you can like, you, I don't you know kids, what? You should watch the I video. I don't let my kids write on the wall. 13 amazing oh, uses yes. of cucumbers that you never thought, like, wow, that's crazy, especially for your health. And that video, you can check it out. It's in the description below. A lot of people have So there it. were a lot of questions from that video. So when it does go viral, you did the, the I went work of... through and read all of your questions. Well, that's where you kind of came up with. It's like, okay, comments. we should do a video on this thing because a lot of people are asking or maybe they don't like them. Crazy good. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we're going to show you. In oh. Your oh, favorite. That's probably that one of your favorite summer things. You things. don't like cucumbers. We're going to show you that recipe. And I don't like, I don't really prefer onions or vinegar stuff, but I love that recipe. Vinegar combined. Ooh, so good. And also, a lot of different questions on it. Yeah, there were a lot of questions. And so I wanted to make sure that you knew if there were so many uses of cucumbers and you still had so many questions after that video that we answered your Cover questions. Cover all the questions. So you literally went through like these viral videos, thousands of comments and collected no, the I, most commonly asked ones. Yeah, I, I kept the good ones. <laughs> Don't read the bad. So cucumbers, how to use them, what to do, all the things. Yeah. Now, let me let me back the train up just okay. a second. These are highly alkalizing. That's They're very awesome. good at hydrating you better than just water alone. There's a whole list of conditions. I have them sitting in front of me. Gastritis, acidity, heartburn, indigestion, ulcers, super beneficial for anything gut related because it's so soothing. So taking in some cucumbers on a daily basis might be a really good idea for you if you suffer from one of those, but then it keeps going. It's one of the best natural diuretics, which means really kidney friendly. So if you're having kidney issues, I love the potassium level of a cucumber to help those out. So you're going to want to get these in, even if you don't like them. Or I'm going to give you a really fan popular, living good kid popular version of this that you can also have approved. And then there's just, so the swelling in the body, you can help pull fluid off because it's going to balance those. Then a whole other list of conditions, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, migraines, anxiety, depression, singles, shingles, shingles, eczema, psoriasis, RA, multiple sclerosis, lupus, all really good for it because of the amount of nutrients. We're talking vitamin A, C, K, magnesium, all the minerals, B vitamins. It's a huge source and it's such a simple, simple food. We're going to show you how to juice it, eat it, use it as a cleaner, all the things. Let's answer this. Okay. So the number one question that continued yeah. to come up was, is a cucumber the same as a bagel? Oh. But I get the same nutritional value because cucumbers are so nutrition, nutrient dense. The cucumber pickle debate. Well, we go through about a jar of these a day in the living At room. Least. We just have pickle fanatics. We, they did not get that from you. No, I do not prefer a pickle. I'll eat a cucumber. I love them. They got it for me. Got the looks from their mom. Got their taste buds from their dad. Cheese and pickles it is. I don't like either one. They're your favorites. I like it. You got to be particular on the ingredients label. The pickle I always show you to read the ingredients label. And there's the zoom in of that ingredient label right there. I'll read it to you. Okay. So, so naturally there's kooks. always going to be some type of preservative, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you got water and kooks and then it's going to go vinegar. Okay. We need that. And then there's going to be salts. In this form, because it's organic, it's sea salt, that's going to be a good salt going in. You don't have to be scared of salt. You need to be scared of processed salt, which is like Doritos and crackers there. And then there's calcium chloride. 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's a firming agent to keep these ones firm. Some other pickles don't have those in it. Uh, natural flavors, turmeric, the natural flavors are organic, so I'm all good with that. No corn syrup, no yellow number five, no GMOs, gluten-free, vegan, and it asks us to please recycle, which we should if we need to because we have so many. Of them. And we do. But we're looking out for the additives, yeah. things that keep them more firm, some of those toxins. Yeah. Surprisingly, nutrient-wise, really similar. I dug deep into this one. Can I read all this off to you? Because this is it. like a, this is- We've been wondering. Doing what I'm doing. You can actually, there's still something about like a cucumber. It hasn't been altered at all. It hasn't been, you know, if you're a canner, like I grew up, my mom canned her own pickles. My grandmother's pickles, if she could remember the recipe, which she can't now, we would dominate the pickle market. <laughs> We got them for Christmas. I'm not you kidding. You all fought over them for a gift, didn't you? We, we would literally get the container gift. and it was just like, you know, you're like socks, whatever. Like you didn't pay attention to anything. You're like, I know what's in that crate. Open it up and I'm like, I'm going home with six jars of pickles. And we would just we'd be nuts over them. And then at the dinner table, there would be the relish tray and we would fight over the little pickles. Like who got the smallest the one? Because the baby ones were the best. But there's something about a cucumber as well because they had a humongous garden. My mom had a huge garden. Some of you got cucumbers coming out of your ears, depending on this time of year, super good to be juicing, super good to be eating. You're, you're talking about live enzymes, live probiotics, live prebiotics that get removed a little bit when you do can something. However, from a nutrient standpoint, we're still pretty sufficient with the pickles. So as I dug in, dietary fiber, a lot higher in the pickle compared to cucumber, probably because of the water content, right? Versus now we're just soaking this thing, a lot more fiber. This is gonna have a lot more salt. Obviously we're adding sea salt into it. Other than that, pretty tit for tat when you went down through it and compared like this many grams or this many milligrams of a pickle versus this many milligrams if of a cucumber. Clean. If it's clean. If it's a clean one, right? So potassium, iron, B vitamins, A, C, K, E, all this advantageous nutrients mm. in a cucumber, same as in a pickle, okay? Okay. Good source, the calcium 256% higher in the pickle. So because oftentimes they're adding calcium chloride to keep them firm. So you're getting a little extra. I don't like putting a lot of extra calcium in. So there is advantages. I think just real food, you can't replace it. God didn't mess up. But man made a pretty good version to store it. I will give them that. So I Well, Ireland will be happy about that because our third daughter, she'll eat her vegetables very well, but she will also argue, I don't need to eat my broccoli, mom. I ate pickles. Can't argue. <laughs> okay, let's just slide at that one but Dr. Daddy's got his eye on you, little one. So from this perspective though, if you're talking hydration, which is one of the biggest benefits of eating the pickle, or excuse me, the cucumber that mm -hmm. I talk about in that video and the one that went viral is because people are dehydrated, because people, uh, you know, you wake up and you, you, you're sluggish, you don't have the energy, putting this in helps. A pickle, or excuse me, a cucumber is going to be better for the hydration side of things. Yeah. A cucumber is gonna be better for the salt side of things, which some of us are lacking. In fact, I will even you know, they, the You all do. Drink the juice uh, around your workout time, it helps to get those electrolytes in and it can actually help performance just a little bit. Of course, we don't need to be overdoing the salt side of things. If you already are taking in too much salt, AKA processed food, fast food, bagged or packaged food. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good well, to know. There you go. So, well, another question was skin on or skin off. Obviously in a pickle, you're going to get the skin on. So now we go to the other side of the family and this is, this is your mom started me on the, and us oh, on the, the old, old half and half. Half and half. Hand aside, just do half and half. So if you don't like cucumbers, right? It's like, oh, I can't try the try peeling some of the skin off and then try it. Wow, well, also, we, what a difference! We love the English ones for some reason. They're like they're just a little more juicy. I don't know, crisp. Mm -hmm. But um, half and half is what we really like. But they keep a little bit better too. Those <clears> they do a little bit longer. A little bit squishy and soft. So what do you think, well, nutrition wise? Nutrition wise, you're getting way more fiber. You are getting a lot more of the nutrients in the skin. However, to get it in and still take advantage of the hydration that it brings the electrolytes that it brings, peel a little bit of the skin off. It is surprising how much just like how refreshing it is. You don't get that bitterness that the skin kind of brings with some of those phytonutrients. I got a little taste to it. That's my expert opinion. Okay. What about questions? What about um, eating them versus like juicing them? Do you get the same amount of There's nutrients? It depends on your 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 goals a little bit. I mean, not because it cucumber is excellent to juice because you yeah. get so much liquid out. Yeah. So versus like you know kale or broccoli. something you're like <laughs> what? Bro that was it. I just put a whole thing of broccoli in there and I got like this an ounce. I always chase it with a cucumber or I'm chase like it I do a, put a bunch of dry stuff in and then I like push it down with the cucumber. Listen, I think if you have a if you have a digestive issue, a celery juice. 
just straight up juice celery or straight up juice cucumber. cucumber in the morning. I have very popular videos on the YouTube channel about uh, celery juice. I think it's a good idea. However, the fiber is then missing, which so many of us are backed up, right? Mm -hmm. We have digestive issues. We're not moving through properly. You need that fiber. So the closer you can keep it, I think, to just eating the whole thing, the more benefits there are. So then what about infusing it versus eating it? Yeah, you're, you're trying to osmosis suck the nutrients out of there. If you do not like eating cucumbers, infuse it. We'll talk about that in a little bit, actually. I will drop you a video to really understand how to infuse it. These are some of the best detox and weight loss drinks that you can have. And it makes your water, it makes you consume so much more water. Like how many of us have problems getting enough water in our system and drinking enough throughout the day? Like just, you're just busy. You don't think of it. This is a way to maximize that because it's also not what you drink. It's what you absorb. Mm -hmm. And infusing a cucumber, which means you're going to need to leave it in there overnight, is going to leach a lot of those nutrients out. And then especially when you get to the bottom, like this is how I am, if there's like berries or if it's cucumbers, I'm like, I'm doing one of these to get the cucumber to, yeah. You can infuse it though. It's good. Okay. So does they it need to be organic. Does a cucumber need to be organic? Great question. Uh, yeah. Ideally, yes. You're like that, you know, you, like, the, you, like you do some of the, the shopping, the you know, so like, yeah, you like, you're savvy on this. I have to go look at the clean 15 dirty dozen list every time. So this is often remember. on the dirty dozen list. Yeah. It doesn't always make it, but it is higher in, in the um, pesticide use or pesticides. So I would try and buy them organic. Obviously it's a really easy thing to make your, or to grow your own as well. So if it's a local where you can grow your own, obviously that's, that's fine too. But um, yeah. And then they often are also covered with maybe like a wax or a plastic on the mm, outside too. That's good. So just yeah. anytime you can get them as fresh and local as you can, it's going to be better. But so I would buy them organic if you're at the store though. But you would be looking at the ones that come in like the plastic wrapping Versus because then the, that means they don't have the wax on them. Right. Even though we don't love the plastic, but at least it's not a synthetic wax that they're putting over and the top. And they do them because they're such a moist vegetable. Like they're so what obviously. And they're wasting it. So they're trying to keep them dry and out of humidity and whatnot. So I like the plastic wrap ones, like the three pack in Costco's. They are great. How do you keep Costco's. them? Like what's the, is there a trick to making sure these things don't, you know, like end up? Obviously always in the fridge until you're ready to use them. I don't, um, I try not to cut something like this or like a berry. I try not to wash and cut them up until I'm ready to eat them. Mm. However, a cucumber, because we go through like one a day with our family, I will slice them up and put them on our veggie bowl. But I always keep a paper towel in our veggie bowl with them because then it helps to make sure that they remove the moisture yeah nice yeah. okay um also the recipe we're going to show in a moment great way to store them they'll last much longer <laughs> if you could can them and turn them into pickles they last surprisingly a long time when you do that <laughs> and then so storing in the fridge right and then yep. like why do they make some people gassy you're asking me yeah like why does that i, why does that I don't know doc why do they i, don't, I was just curious <laughs> not like from a personal perspective but, i don't <laughs> i don't know doc why do they do that to some people cure cube tyson what is that it's a phytonutrient in there and that can stir up some a little bit of indigestion, a little bit of gassiness. So if you get that from it, you could try the old peel method, like use the potato peeler and get a little bit more of that skin off. Yeah. You'll avoid some of that if you are noticing that cucumbers don't sit well. I couldn't believe how many comments people <clears throat> saying, oh, me, because your video is like, everyone loved it, but they're like, oh, I wish I liked cucumber. I couldn't believe how many people don't like cucumbers. Like, does it have that much of a flavor? Like, I didn't know that this was a thing. Well, here's three incredible solutions we've covered just to recap them. Number one is try peeling okay. some of the skin. It, it is a game changer. Okay. You lose some of the nutrients, but you're still getting a lot. Number two is this recipe right here, which was an original one I grew up with. And then it is now perfected by the nurse living good. Oh, cucumber. Did you grow up with this in the fridge? I mean, this is what I looked in and this is just sitting in there. It was in an ice cream pail. I, are you asking me? No, I'm just, I'm like, asking, asking them. Me. Like an ice cream pail of that going on. And so. I did not, but I do like it. In this bowl, you already, you, oh, I just, I'm just was talking ahead. and I'm you so were just. No, 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 I was talking and you just chopped up the whole cucumber. That was pretty impressive. What's going on in that bowl? Um, I have onions, sliced onions. Have, like a sweet onion is probably best. Yep, yeah, I have slivered cucumbers. Skinned them a little bit. Yep. I really like this recipe with those little miniature cucumbers. Mm. I didn't have any today, so I just used regular. But I, cukes. I have a cup and a half of water, a cup of white vinegar, and... I've never tried it with ACV. That might alter it a little bit. But, but we should try that. But try vinegar. 
solid. And, and then a quarter cup of like a monk fruit or whatever sweetener you want to use. We like, yeah, we try to stay away from straight up sugar. We try to stay away from brown sugars. And we can watch my whole video on 25 sweeteners. sugars, sweeteners, natural, artificial. I break them all down so you know what's the best one to use. In this example, we're using monk fruit. That's a good video, by the way. Stirring with a knife. Stirring it up with a knife. <laughs> but that's it. Like, that's how simple it? it is. Then you just let it soak for, I don't know, a few hours over, at least. Well, overnight is when they're best. And then they really start to that. crispening up. Yeah. Over. It Super looks, easy. well, it's just like this. It literally is in the same bowl. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's what it looks like. Delicious. Chop them up, soak them. Oh my gosh. Then I'm just... Just grabbing them, really good like barbecue grilling. This is like a side dish. You use just a little strainer uh, spoon to get them out on the side. Like I grew up, it was you're all so summer. I am because it's like it's like a smell or a thing like takes you back. You know, you're like, yeah. <laughs> Did you put these? Got to try this recipe. So peel off some skin. Yeah. This try incredible recipe, way. which is in the description for you, so you can check that out. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I would go, like our girls love it with hummus. They have we have the primal kitchen ranch dressing always. Like you can find some way to eat them, I assume, if you really want, if you need that nutrient. Here's the easy one, right? Is to infuse. And so chop them up. You can leave the full skin on, put them in a big container of water, pitcher of water, let it soak overnight, and enjoy that. And if you want to eat the cucumbers afterwards, even better. But if you don't like to eat them, that is a really good detox weight loss drink. Speaking of, so that recipe is below, right? Check out the sweetener video if you need help with it. Check out the 13 incredible uses of cucumbers that's below but if you want to know how to make the weight loss detox drinks cucumbers and more another very popular video of ours we put it right here for you